So this week, as well as trying to embed what I did last week with the in to out swing, specifically on my back swing, I'm now trying to focus on my follow through. And here, I've got quite a tendency to be quite choppy. So what I'm trying to do is top spin, essentially, the ball so that it gets the forward revolutions as opposed to the backward revolutions, hopefully enabling the ball to go further and straighter. We practiced this with a tennis racket. And the tennis racket was quite obvious, showing the back spin and the top spin. Now I'm just trying to embed this with a golf swing. So here you can see on the slow-mo of my old swing, imitating what that would look like, that the club face is quite open even after contact and stays open. That creates the slice or the backward revolutions on the ball. And here in slow-mo, we'll show the swing that I'm aspiring to have and hoping with this practice we'll get. You can see after the impact and at the top of the switch, top of the screen, the club face starts to roll over, giving it the top spin effect there. The other thing to try and help this top spin is following through with nice high hands. So a drill that I'm working on either here at home, using the simulator, or at the golf nets or on the range. I'm also grinding away, working on the same techniques, the same things with my driver, with the big stick. See how we get on with that. I've got one useful little tip that I was given as well, which I'm gonna go through with you guys now. Now I've come outside because the light was a bit poor in the garage. Just to talk you through this philosophy. So obviously, with the driver, you're playing it off your front foot. So when you line up, my shoulders, if I were playing it off my front shirt, you could see my shoulders become quite square. And I'm now actually targeting way left. The club comes out and it has to correct itself, cutting across the ball, creating my bend. Whereas, if I try to focus on bringing this shoulder further back, my alignment, then closer to the direction that I'm actually trying to hit the ball. Will it work? We'll find out on the next episode. I'm going to grind away, working on that, and seeing whether I can make any improvements. So we'll go through that just in a bit more detail here, from this front on angle, and then from a side on angle. So if I put this club in the centre of my stance, my shoulders point in the right direction. I now move the club further forward. My body has had to adjust slightly, shifting my body round and getting my shoulders out of alignment. To compensate for that, I'm trying to bring my back shoulder, my right shoulder, further back. Or alternatively, we're bringing the club further back, but then we're not hitting up on the ball. We all know hitting up on the ball with a driver is key for distance. The grind is real.
remember, always shout for.